So what's gonna happen is I will take out the Mohawk section myself over the next few weeks. Check out the previous video linked up to the right for the full version of why I'm taking down my sister locks. Saturday night when I get like an extra hour I tend I try to take some out so far I've taken out this much and I'm gonna work on this one row tonight which will probably take about 30 to 45 minutes but I just want to show you um, the method that I'm using I spray it with water and then I have this three minute three minute miracle conditioner I just pump out section of it now this one might be kind of easy because look how far up it's unraveled so this one might be faster than normal because I'm already halfway up not all of them are this easy there were some in the back that I honestly I had to cut the end to get it started because it had really started to lock but I'm hoping more of them are like this than not. So while I'm taking out one, the rest can be uh, conditioning and softening up. And then, so I'll start the clock um, as soon as I start taking out the first one and I'll come back and let you know how, my, how long it took for me to take out the rest of this row. So I just finished this row, the entire row, and I clocked it at 38 minutes plus the six minutes from the beginning. So 38 and six, about 44 minutes for this one section. So I put water on it. It does appear to be long. I probably will end up trimming it just cause the ends got, you know, kind of damaged with taking it out. But I probably will end up trimming um, everything in the back before I go back. But yeah, about 45, we'll just say 45 minutes per section. It is about two hours later. I just finished this section here. And what I did, I just divided it up and put in a two strand twist. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll these sections and then take it out tomorrow and hope that it blends. Mm -hmm. 
I just wanted to show kind of what the back looks like with no locks. That took about three hours to get through this much. Um, what I'm gonna do now is spray it, detangle it, and then braid it down so that it can be separate as I continue tomorrow. So this is how much I have left and judging by how long it took to do this section and this section, I'm thinking this is about three more hours. So probably about nine hours total, but we'll see. Okay, this is hopefully going to be the last day. Between today or tomorrow, I'll probably do a couple rows today and then a couple rows tomorrow, but this is all that I have left. So what I'm gonna do is find the next row to work on and start taking those out. I've got it kind of down to a science by now. Um, if I can get, I found that if I can get through the end, that's the hardest part because they put that knot on the end. So. In some cases, I've had to just cut the knot off. And in other cases, the end is already open. If I can get through that, I put it up against my thumb and put the, put the comb in between and just work my way up.
So last night I completed the taking out of the taking out these micro locks in these three sections. It took a total of about nine hours, and my hands are wet because I wanted to show you how much hair I lost in this process. So I took the, the ball and rinsed it off. But yeah, and I have big hands. a lot of hair ladies and gentlemen I think that um, one thing we do have to remember is I first got my sister locks back in December of last year so this is eight going on nine months of not of shedding just in this section of hair so it it does look like a lot and I won't lie that is a lot which is probably why sister locks over time well and become bigger because you have all this shed, shed hair that's not going anywhere so it makes your hair look thicker your hair is thicker though it's not coming out of your scalp thicker it's just looking thicker because the shed hair is there so anyway next I will probably go on a walk here's the sections one two three I need to wash through those sections I'll probably um, keep them separate and just wash through it to prep my hair to be retied tomorrow. So this side was not retied at all the last time, my, my last um, retie appointment. They didn't even get to this side. So, um, but this side and the front, it looks like I need a retie already. And that was maybe two, three weeks ago. But I think the focus for this appointment will probably be the back section here and then the middle mohawk redoing those um, sister locks in there so we'll see we'll see what it looks like after I take it out I want to assess the damage like overall and see if I need to maybe trim that mohawk area but I'll do that after I wash it section off my hair for washing this is the section that was taken out you can see where I was kind of snipping along the way this section has always been a little shorter what I will do is put some um, conditioner on it. It feels really weird to comb my hair after not brushing or combing it after eight months. Here's where I ended up splitting off the hair to be retied, and then the section in the back to be redone is here. So the next time I see you, I will show you the updated results, and hopefully we get it all done today. I'm there from nine to five is what she booked me for, so don't I have no clue how long it's gonna take, especially with the trainee, they work a little bit slower, but we'll see. Bye.